Hello everybody, this is a Lamley Showcase. It's the morning hour, the sun is just rising. As you can see, I am in Grand Staircase Escalante. There's a little morning breeze. I apologize if the microphone's picking that up, but considering the view, I'm gonna let that slide. I've got Series 1 of Hot Wheels NFT Garage. You can see the sun bouncing right off of that. And I figured since this is what, essentially a digital product, this is obviously the physical version of a digital product, I might as well go full analog by coming here to the Grand Staircase Escalante area, showing you some of the most unique land in Utah. And if it's unique land in Utah, it is unique land in the world. Uh, one thing about living here is how spectacular the, world, the land is here in Utah. There just seems like there's something interesting in every corner. But this isn't a Utah tourism video. This is a Hot Wheels showcase. So we've already showcased Series 2. Because Series 2, I did it first because the claiming period was has been open for the last, uh, what, a few weeks. People who have the tokens can claim the Series 2 model. Series 3, that uh, window will open soon. There's a lot of trading and buying going on right now. Series 1, totally closed. But Mattel sent me both Series 2 and Series 1, so I figured I would show all of them. We're gonna start with 2018 Camaro SS. This is what the box looks like. It's very plain. Comes with a little sticker. My job is to open it up. And show you what is inside. Let me, uh... This is what it looks like inside. And this is what the model looks like. So. Got to remove the plastic so you can see it. There it is. There's the glare from the sunrise. But this is the model. There is the NFT version. That is actually just a replication of the NFT art. And as a matter of fact, the NFT art's better. This literally looks like they took a screenshot of it. I would say maybe make that a little bit better because it does look a little superimposed, if you will. The rest of the card is pretty quality. You've got that foil stamp and everything else. The back of it, pretty plain. Nothing... Uh, Nothing other than what's on the card art, right? Model Spectre Flame Orange. It's the Spectre Flame that they use for Super Treasure Hunts. It's that equivalent. I wouldn't call it RLC level. Um, and I've told you, Lee Wei, who designed these cars, this is actually based on the Mattel, right? The Mattel uh, Camaro actually sent the cars loose so you can see what they look like. So I've got it here. So you can see it on the turntable. I actually filmed this on the turntable several, actually like more than a month ago nearby actually more towards capitol reef but uh, this is the model we've seen this we've seen this deco before i don't know we've seen it in specter flame but it looks good in specter flame this the uh five spokes look good i think maybe this has been a super treasure too i can't remember but this you know it was based on the hot wheels casting but you know it's cool loose it's best packaged just because of the collectability of the nft i mean that's what these are all about but it's nice to see them loose it's a pretty standard model loose looks great as an nft all right next is the roger dodger let's go ahead and open it up You'll have to tell me, those of you who are getting these, if you would prefer to keep them in the box sealed for the collectability of that, or you're uh, opening them up to display them in the uh, in the Protecto. It would be hard for me to keep this in the actual white box, but I'll keep it in the Protecto and I definitely will not open this thing. It's just a different kind of thing. It just, be, you know, the packaged NFT is just how you want to do it. And I like this one this way. There it is in the card art. Card art's kind of, I actually like this art better because there's just a little bit more to it. Looks like it's on some sort of, it's in some sort of uh, shop setting. And here is the model. Pretty standard, well, standard is not the right word. This one is actually really cool. Uh, Hot Wheels Racing obviously is the theme here. 68 on top, the Hot Wheels logo all over the place. The Spectre Flame Blue is super, super sharp. The wheels are fantastic. This is actually a really cool model. This is, it seemed like Series 1 really went like pure Hot Wheels. We'll, and we'll see that with some of these others uh, in the series. You know, you're going to see, there's a lot more licensed in Series 2. These are, these are less, these are more like Hot Wheels originals. And the Roger Dodger, of course the Bone Shaker coming up, are definitely original uh, when it comes to castings and some of the true classics. This one has to be in Hot Wheels livery and it looks fantastic. Speaking of originals, Twin Mill. I don't know what's more original. The, the, the Bone Shaker is probably, of originals, has got to be 
the most recent of the pure classics, right? But Twin Mill is an all-timer. Dioria, Diora is as well, but the Twin Mill is definitely an all-timer. Let's get this thing opened up. Here it is in the Protecto. There is the sunrise once again. And here it is carded. Artwork, okay, it's better. I actually see the Camaro seem to be kind of weird. And this one, these are kind of better, I think. Foil stamp, of course. There is the model in the package. Just very standard. There were five spokes again. We're three for three on the five spokes. I think there's a lot of five spokes in this series. Spectre Flame, Antifreeze is what you would call this one. And of course, we have to look at the model itself, thanks to Leeway. Pretty standard, it says Twin Mill on the side. You've got some stripes, you've got antifreeze, which is a classic Hot Wheels Spectra Flame color. Red line, five spokes, Real Rider five spokes, which actually look good. I actually like these in chrome. Oh, they look good black too. The, the Real Rider five spokes are all, you know, they're classics as well when it comes to the Real Riders. So everything here is cool. We're talking, looking at an original, you're looking at a model. We got two more. All right, let's go Mock Speeder, another original. I think the Camaro was the only one that's licensed, but even that is a Hot Wheels original in a sense because the, it's based on the Hot Wheels Chevrolet Camaro collaboration. So here's the Mock Speeder. This is, this is the one that's probably the most, I don't know, would you say it's the most baffling? I don't know, I shouldn't say that. I mean, you, they can do whatever they want. Um, I would say this one, if you wanna just get one of these NFT models, might be the easiest one to get just because it's the one with the least amount of history and it's unlicensed as well. Here is the model. I don't even remember when the Mach Speeder came out, but let's look at it in the protector. And here it is in the package. In Spectra Flame, burnt orange, very similar to the Camaro. There is the artwork. I mean, it's a cool car. It's very much a race car, but I would prefer this to be licensed. Here is the model itself. Looks kind of basic it's got the arrow arrow style real riders i mean when i say it looks basic it looks like a basic design it is definitely a leeway design which is very cool i guess i i sound somewhat unimpressed only because this is just a model that i'm not entirely sure why it was chosen but um for something like this it seems to be kind of a little bit of a fish out of water kind of looks like a fish too um but all of these are premium they have the metal bases they are the and uh you know other premium details i just uh I mean, it's a cool casting, right? It's a cool original. It's just not one that I'm terribly excited about. But let's get to the uh, to the monster of this series. It is the Bone Shaker. This is the treasure hunt of the uh, Series 1. Just like the 55 Bel Air Gasser is the treasure hunt of Series 2. NFTH is what they're calling them. This is the box, just as standard as any other. Um, not that it's a mystery that this was the uh, treasure hunt for those that got it. Uh, but it is the exact same box. Let's get this thing opened. It has the treasure hunt card, which is a gold, almost like a gold treated card is what I will say. There it is in its protector. Let's get it out of there. Here it is, and just like the gasser, it's treated just a little differently, right? I think the gold card is very cool. It's got the, the uh, this you know different kinds of treatments on it. It's almost like the whole card is foil plated. Kind of looks cool in the sun there. I'm usually not liking the glare, but look at that, kind of cool. The treatment on the bone shaker. It has that superimposed look though, which I think is kind of funny. They might have to work on that a little bit. But the model itself is fantastic. Another thing that they do differently is create a window in the back for this so you can see the model from every angle, which is nice, right? But we do have it, thanks to Leeway, I've got the model here loose. Check it out on the turntable, but before you do, here's the first footage of all the models to fall. It was the NFTH, and there were rocks below this. I don't think it took on any damage. Um, I don't know, maybe it did. I'll have to look at it closely, but, uh, but that is the loose bone shaker. Five spokes once again. This is, you know, I, when we talk about originals, Diora, uh, Twin Mill, the bone shaker, and they've even made a real bone shaker, Blurry Woods. Uh, one of his uh, later castings, right? But it is it is a classic at this point. And it makes a lot of sense to be the very first NFTH. Having the 55 Bel Air as the second makes a lot of sense too because that's one of the more recent classics as well. But this bone shaker is fantastic. I just love everything about it. The wheels are great. The white wall tires with the gold lip. 
Um, color's cool. Deco is cool. It is the Bone Shaker. I just, you know, I don't know who doesn't like the Bone Shaker. But there it is. That is the NFTH. Not a bad combination of models. Not a bad setting. You guys tell me what you think. I'll let you take this in. This is quite the setting, and doing it at sunrise was pretty fun as well. Thanks, everybody. Bye.